Hello and welcome to the Philippines. Uh, this this video is about a banca ride, a outrigger ride, a small ferry ride from from Mactan Island over to Olongo Island, which is a bit of a wildlife refuge. And I was surprised to find out that uh, it is a uh, there are a couple of resorts over there. Uh, it's a popular island hopping place. Who is this guy? This is a video about a banca ride. I don't know who this guy is or how he got in my video. So let's get on with it. The ticket agent stated that the only requirement to go over to Longo Island was a face mask, uh, which opened up the possibilities. And uh, my partner actually made this video, went over there to uh, check out some of the uh, situation over there and uh, decided, well, a face mask, I've got a face mask, I've got a face shield, I've got my medical certificate. Uh, she had never been, even though she'd lived on the Mactan Island for uh, 25 plus years, uh, she decided she was going to take the trip over. About 15 minute trip, I believe, right? The trip cost 30 pesos, round trip. 54 pesos round trip, 54 pesos, uh, 50 pesos is like 48 cents U.S. And uh, so here's here's the people, and they have these uh, these banca boats, what are called banca boats, uh, that run back and forth between Olongo Island, and then there's other islands that you can get boats to as well that'll uh, drop you off at various smaller islands as well. And uh, anyway, she decided to take a trip over there, and we're going to go, and we're going to take a look uh, at, at the pier landing over there and uh, a couple of those resorts. So 15 minutes uh, in that trip across, and uh, pretty calm seas, really. It was a uh, little bit later in the afternoon. And uh, like I said, when she took this trip over to uh, Mactan Island from Cebu City, uh, it was kind of an exploratory type trip, and she went to just to find out what was going on, what uh, what was available, and uh, <laughs> spur of the moment decided to hop on, hop on the ferry and go find out a little bit about it. And uh, that's nice to be able to do that. Anyway, coming into the Long Pier there on Olongo Island, and I hate to admit it, I hate to admit that I've been in Cebu City, Philippines for a little bit over five years, and I still have not been to Alongo Island. There's a lot of island hopping over there. A lot of these uh, banca boats, outrigger boats that head over there on a regular basis. Uh, various types of trips. You can rent, rent a smaller banca boat uh, by yourself. Uh, for the day, maybe 3,000, 3,500, something like that. Uh, or you can get on a, a group tour, or a, and this isn't a, gr a group tour, it's a, uh, it's just a regular route over. And there you can see all these boxes, uh, of course, all the freight going over, all the food, the fish, all the different things moving between islands goes by these little boats. And uh, some people, a number of people live over there. They go over to Cebu City or Mactan Island to shop and bring, uh, bring uh, goods back to the island. Of course, everything. Uh, everything moves by boat here in the Philippines, pretty much ferries. And uh, after a relatively short walk, you've got, you've got these tricycles and uh, pedicabs, tris triscuits, something like that they call them that will are sitting there and they're meeting people with freight, different things to bring back to their home, their provinces. And she ended up uh, renting a, a tricycle here. You had to walk a little bit. They're not allowed all the way out to the end of the, the pier is what I understand. So sure you got on now, what are the requirements? So she was confirming, uh, were there any special requirements? And it seems that face masks 
uh, are are the requirement uh, to be out and about, and the, you know those types of restrictions and requirements can change by the week, by the day even. Uh, just recently, they put liquor bans back into effect in uh, on Mactan Island, Mandawi City, Cebu City. I think you can buy them in some grocery stores, bring it home to drink, but you, but all the bars, the resorts, pretty much they shut them back down. The consequences of those actions, of course, is that the few people, you know, there, there were people that were going to various resorts and going out and spending some money and helping to get the economy going um, because they found a few places who were staying open past the 10 o'clock curfew and even they, they found people drinking even at midnight in various uh, few different bars. Uh, they put into effect the, the, the liquor ban, which pretty much shut down all the bars. bars. Uh, a lot of the resorts lost a lot of the, the little bit of business that they were starting to get. People canceling their, their reservations, their plans to go to resorts for a day or, or several days. Uh, so really, you know, my opinion is, is you know, punish those establishments that that are not meeting those particular requirements. Do not, do not punish the whole industry. The whole, in, the whole travel industry has has suffered hugely devastation for the past year with all these economic lockdowns. Uh, so it is my belief, my personal belief, that they should not, uh, they should not punish all establishments, all resorts and bars, resto bars. Uh, but that is uh, that is the fact of life now. I I know one particular resort. I spent a couple of days there uh, recently, and they're they're getting ready. They're they canceled the uh, the ban because of the. Uh, the ban on liquor they have they're going to be shutting down the restaurant uh, for the majority of days opening up on Saturday Friday and Saturday I think uh, so putting out a, lo a lot of people out of work anyway so anyway Alongo Island I think is worth a trip over there my partner uh, checked into the first resort over there I think there are two hotel resorts and the first one actually was booked and had many, many foreigners booked in. They were fully booked at the time. She walked over to the second one, and you'll get to look around there and look at the pool. Um, so you should book these things in advance. There's more going on on this island. I'm embarrassed to say that uh, I'm not more aware of, uh, and I haven't been over there already more going on on the island. I, I think you can rent motorbikes if you get over there, rent a motorbike and tool, or, tool around there. Like I said, it is a, now here you can see it's a, the tide is out. If, you've, if you haven't been around oceans with tides, uh, there are certain times of the day the tide goes out. So you have, you know, your, your boats are sitting up here on dry land. The tide will come back in certain time of the day or the night and uh, raise those boats up, and that varies by day. It's not the same every day. Uh, but it, it is, uh, looks like a very interesting island to go visit. I did check online for uh, a couple of dates for the resorts, and if I remember right, I think the rates uh, were anywhere between uh, a little over 2,000 pesos to a little over 3,000 pesos for their standard rooms. Then as you, as you moved up, I think they may have had uh, bigger rooms for, you know, like family rooms, those types of things. Of course, they're going to cost more. Uh, so you check online, check on the booking sites uh, if you're interested in that type of thing. My partner over here didn't stay very long, uh, but here's uh, one of the resorts. And that tricycle ride, the tricycle driver took her to the resort, waited for her uh, for 30 minutes, 40 minutes, something like that, and took her back to the pier because it was later in the afternoon. And she wanted to get back there and uh, cost her 80 pesos each way. 80 pesos, about a hundred and, no, about a dollar sixty. Uh, 
times two for that. So this was the second resort that uh, she went to. I think she, they had uh, they had some rooms available still at the present time, and uh, I think they had volleyball court. And they had uh, I think they had a shuttle vehicle to pick po people up from the pier, uh, pool. Not sure about the beaches if they've got uh, uh, really beaches there or not. I think there is a bit of a, a beach, number of different beaches. They do island hopping. There are other smaller islands as well. And uh, here the lady at the desk was giving out some uh, some information, I think, about the hotel. But uh, they do these island hopping trips where you can rent, you know, you, you or a group of people can rent a smaller banca boat and hit, like here in the background, you can see a number of different islands. And you can uh, you can go and they'll stop at one island for a little while and they'll feed you and cook some fish or something and go to another island with a little bit of a beach and sand and uh, enjoy that for an hour or two and then go to another island. And some are exclusive. They're owned uh, separately by different people. Uh, but anyway, options, interesting interesting place. I need to get out. I want to get out there uh, sometime very soon. And the trip back, there again, you got the outriggers, the banca boat, the small ferry, the outrigger boat, number of different uh, terms to describe these. And there again, relatively relatively calm seas, usually in big resort there on Mactan Island. And here's this guy, he keeps showing up in my video. Don't know who he is, how he got in my video. But he is kind of entertaining, I must say. <laughs> anyway, thanks for coming along. Uh, stay safe, stay healthy. Those of you who aren't in the Philippines, I guess I'm happy that I'm stuck in the Philippines at the present time, based on what I read about different countries around the world. Uh, good luck with you all and your plans, travel plans in the future. Take care, and I'll see you next time.